In the kingdom of Evergreen, nestled amidst rolling hills and verdant forests, there lived a young woman named Amara. With long hair cascading in waves of gold and eyes as clear as sapphire, she was known throughout the land for her beauty and grace. But it was her kindness and strength that truly set her apart. Amara's life changed forever when her beloved husband, Cedric, was called to war to defend their kingdom. Before he departed, he made her a promise to return to her side and never again take up arms. With a heavy heart but unwavering faith, Amara bid him farewell, clutching his words to her chest like a precious gem. Days turned into weeks, and weeks turned into months, but Cedric did not return. News reached Amara that he had fallen on the battlefield, an arrow piercing his heart as he charged bravely towards the enemy. Devastated by the loss of her beloved, Amara retreated into solitude, refusing to eat or drink as grief consumed her soul. She blamed the king for Cedric's death, cursing the war that had torn them apart. Yet, amidst her anguish, she found solace in their son, Eli, a beacon of light in her darkest hour. With every breath, she vowed to protect him, to shield him from the pain that had shattered her own heart. As time passed, the villagers whispered of Amara's beauty and the tragedy that had befallen her. Suitors came from far and wide, drawn by her radiant charm, but she turned them all away. She had made a vow never to love again, to keep her heart locked away in the depths of her sorrow. Instead, she turned to selling bananas to provide for herself and Eli, her days spent labouring under the scorching sun. It was a humble existence, but she clung to it fiercely, determined to carve out a life for her son despite the hardships they faced. Yet, despite her resolve, Amara found herself besieged by suitors, each one eager to win her affections. They whispered sweet words and offered promises of love, but she remained steadfast in her refusal, her heart closed off to their advances. One fateful day, as she washed her clothes by the river, a stranger appeared. Tall and regal, with eyes that sparkled like emeralds, he approached her with a smile upon his lips. He claimed to be a foreigner seeking directions to the palace, and Amara, ever kind-hearted, obliged. As the stranger introduced himself as Prince Lysander, Amara's heart skipped a beat. She felt a flutter of unease, a flicker of something long buried stirring within her soul. Yet she remained wary, her walls firmly in place as she revealed little of herself to him. Undeterred, Prince Lysander pressed on, his curiosity piqued by the mystery that surrounded Amara. He returned to the palace, his thoughts consumed by the beautiful woman he had encountered by the river. He sought out every scrap of information he could find, determined to unravel the secrets that shrouded her past. Meanwhile, Amara poured her love and devotion into Eli, her son the centre of her world. She watched him grow and flourish, his laughter a balm to her wounded soul. Yet beneath the surface, a storm raged within her, a tumult of emotions she struggled to contain. Despite her vow of solitude, she could not deny the stirring of her heart in the presence of Prince Lysander. His kindness and charm broke through her defences, awakening feelings she had long thought buried. But she refused to succumb to temptation, her love for Cedric a beacon of strength in the darkness. Determined to win Amara's trust, Prince Lysander continued to seek her company, each encounter deepening their connection. He learned of her grief and her vow of solitude, and his heart ached for the pain she had endured. Yet, he could not deny the growing attraction he felt towards her, a force as unstoppable as the tide. He offered her assistance and support, his actions speaking louder than words as he endeavoured to ease her burdens. And though she remained wary, her heart softened in the presence of his kindness, her walls beginning to crumble with each passing day. As Eli grew older, Amara faced a difficult decision to cling to the past or to embrace the future that lay before her. She wrestled with her emotions, torn between her love for Cedric and the burgeoning feelings she harboured for Prince Lysander. Yet, amidst her turmoil, one truth remained constant, her unwavering devotion to her son. 
She vowed to protect him at all costs, to shield him from the pain that had haunted her own life. And in his innocent laughter, she found the strength to face the uncertainties that lay ahead. In the end, it was love that conquered all, love for her son, love for her lost husband, and love for the man who had come to mean so much to her. With a heart full of courage, Amara allowed herself to open up to Prince Lysander, to embrace the possibility of a future filled with love and happiness. And as they stood together by the river that had witnessed their journey, they knew that their love was a force as timeless as the stars above. With Eli at their side, they embarked on a new chapter of their lives, their hearts entwined in a bond that could never be broken. As the sun set on the kingdom of Evergreen, Amara and Prince Lysander looked towards the horizon, their eyes alight with hope and determination. For though they had faced trials and tribulations, they knew that their love would endure, a beacon of light in the darkness. And as they walked hand in hand into the future that awaited them, they knew that no matter what challenges lay ahead, they would face them together, united in the promise of golden waves and a love that would stand the test of time.